Today we start a new body system. We're talking about the nervous system. And as we go through month by month on our wellness program to get to know our bodies, get to know our anatomy physiology a little bit, just a little bit, and to pay attention, right? Start to become aware and then uh, use our breathing and some supplementation and some lifestyle changes to support that system. And of course, all this is in the context of our wellness strategy of stop poison. So in this case, the nervous system, stop poisoning the nervous system, flood the nervous system with nutrients and manage our stress as it pertains to the nervous system. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. So we're going to do all that this month, but the nervous system is so huge. We could actually do two whole months. In fact, we could probably do a whole year just on the brain, right? But we're not going to, we are going to do a crash course on the nervous system and what can we do to help facilitate the body's wellness and health in the area of the nervous system, okay? So this is probably one of those systems that probably needs the most help or support from us consciously. It, we can really tear our, tear our brain down, tear our, our nerves down uh, with our lifestyle. So it's, a, you know, I mean, all, all the body experiences stress from lifestyle, but the nervous system especially so. And it is chronically lower in antioxidant levels than the rest of the tissue because of the blood-brain barrier. So we've got issues with trying to get nutrients to the central nervous system uh, because of this blood-brain barrier. So we'll talk about that. But let's talk about the overview of the nervous system. What are we meaning when we say the nervous system? And then uh, you know we'll look at some of the parts. We can't possibly go through all the parts because uh, we're talking about brain, right? So there's only part, this is only part, we're gonna talk about the brain and the spinal cord, which would be, this, is, this will be the sp representation of the spinal cord inside the vertebrae, right, inside the spine. And then the peripheral nervous system, you know, we've got two main nerve bundles that come off for the shoulders, two huge nerve bundles that come off. This is the lumbar plexus. Uh, solar, I mean, this would be the brachial plexus. So we'll talk about bundles and plexuses. Uh, I guess they're called plexi. Anyway, no, I don't think so. They're complexuses. Uh, anyway, and uh, the parts of the brain, right? So we've got the brain, and uh, this is a cross section down the middle, of course, but we've got all the different parts, um, and then, you know, what they do. So all the different. Can we go through every single lobe of the brain? Uh, in fact, we could spend an entire year just talking about the lobes of the brain and, and just working with that, which would be cool. But um, we're not going to do that for in the context of overall wellness. So we needed to talk about nerve function, brain function, and a little bit about the neurons. Um, and then how the physiology is, is different in the nervous system. We've got these, this blood-brain barrier that allows or, or restricts material flowing into and out of the brain. Uh, and uh, brain and spinal cord, the cerebral spinal fluid that bathes, which you don't get to see in this picture here, so it's not a very good, I'm gonna have to, when I get to that point, maybe I'll find a, some kind of diagram. But anyway, basically the, the brain and spinal cord is wrapped in a saran wrap, uh, these layers of saran wrap kind of material, and inside that is fluid, so the entire system is bathed in fluid. So, Back to what I was saying, you know, have been saying the whole time, the main, our primary two ingredients, our nutrients that we need to make sure we get into a tissue is oxygen and water. And that is certainly certainly true for the nervous system. But this is a little bit more challenging to get water in there and, and all the oxygen because it's all got to pass through the blood-brain barrier and all the rest of that. The brain has its own... Uh, nerve, I mean, its own immune system, so we don't have uh, white blood cells running around into the nervous system creating pus. That would be bad. So there's, uh, so anytime there's an infection in the nervous system, it's these different kind of immune cells that has its own separate immune system uh, that takes care of that or doesn't, as it were, because that's the problem with these these bugs and viruses and stuff that get into the nervous system and they they don't ever seem to leave. Uh, so we'll talk, you know, something about all those things. Um, and then how do we work on how do we recharge the nervous system? How do we calm the nervous system down? In fact, um, if, you've, uh, if you've taken a peek at our recommended supplement program, so we do supplements, uh, I recommend some supplements uh, for 
supporting each of the body systems. You don't have to do those. You could do this entire program just on lifestyle change and breathing and consciousness, and you would still get tremendous benefit from it. Uh, but we, you know, we, we, the supplements can be very sophisticated and, and targeted to a particular nervous, a particular body system. In this case, the nervous system, and then they also this the 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 products that we're talking about help support the lifestyle changes that we need to be making. So lifestyle changes for on that topic. Oh, anyway, I was going to finish. Let me finish my statement. If you've been peeking at the uh, supplement program for the nervous system, you'll notice that it's heavily weighted toward rest, uh, toward getting our rest, getting our recharge. So we need to rest the central nervous system. Um, again, it accumulates stress, it accumulates uh, oxidative stress and in a, in a very negative way. And it has lower antioxidants in the central nervous system than in the rest of the body, again, because of this blood-brain barrier. But one of the things that we're working on in the nervous system is we're finishing up our, our commitment to get rid of refined sugars. And this is especially important in the nervous system. In fact, um, the things like Alzheimer's have been called type 3 diabetes. In other words, when we flood, and we'll talk more about this, but when you flood the, c the central nervous system, the brain, if you flood the brain with sugar, it creates osmotic stress uh, and you're actually creating a, an entire imbalance, just physical imbalance in the brain with all that sugar. And then of course it's stimulating the brain, which is of course why we like it, that's why we eat the sugar, uh, and that's why it's in all of our products because it's addictive and we like it, or we think we do. So that is a huge focus for this whole quarter. If you've not been engaged in the quarter, we've got to get rid of the refined sugar. So very important. Um, and then we're going to talk about minimizing uh, the in, in the environment, minimizing caffeine, or talking about caffeine. Uh, I'm not I'm not opposed to caffeine. Uh, you have to realize that caffeine is uh, is a natural substance that it's, you know occurs in a lot of things in teas and stuff. It's when you extract out caffeine and you fling it into the body in high quantities and in context in which you know it's it, it goosed. Uh, with a whole bunch of carbonic acid and sugar, like in a soda, for example, um, it's just not a good idea. And we'll talk more about caffeine, but that's what we're going to be working on. Uh, are there some things that I can take? Are you, you're telling me I got to get rid of all my caffeine? No, it's not what I'm saying. Um, and in fact, some of our supplement program for the month is a caffeine alternative or, or, or caffeine containing products, but are very balanced and natural. So those of you who are saturated in caffeine aren't going to feel this great caffeine buzz, but those who are needing a little pick-me-up, a little, little support that doesn't create the jitters, you, that's what you're going to get with, with these products. We'll talk more about all those kind of things. Okay, so again, we've got this, um, uh, the, the brain, which is the central part of the central nervous system, right? You know, which is a big swollen part of the spinal cord. It's one way to think about it. It's not quite right, but anyway. Um, we'll talk about brain stem and medulla. This is, of course, responsible for your balance and your your um, uh, the the part of the brain back here that is involved in in keeping your body talking, your muscles, all the coordination and balance and all that athletic stuff. Uh, and then we go into the the you know midbrain and and all that stuff. And it, we'll talk more about what these do briefly. It's not going to be an intense. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be an intense course on the nervous system or brain function, but the temporal lobes, the frontal lobe, the parietal lobes, the occipital lobe, uh, and then um, each one of those lobes have functions, uh, you know, visual, under speech, uh, voluntary muscle control. Uh, you can see things like, um, you know, motor speech area, etc., etc. So auditory processing, visual processing. Uh, all those things are part of the brain, so we'll we'll try to touch on some of those things. Um, but uh, you know, that's like I said, they're just going to do an entire course just on the brain itself, an, an entire year, just the whole year of just what we're doing, going through month by month, just by going into the brain. You can probably do that for every body system. There's, there's so much knowledge about the body, and the body is so complex in terms of all these things. But it's not that difficult to start getting engaged into a relationship with your body that's more, a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more conscious, and participate consciously in your body's processes. Uh, and so we'll be breathing into the brain, uh, breathing into the spinal cord, uh, breathing into the nerves that go outward, 
And of course, the, the brain is involved in sending nerve signals out to the body, but then also receiving those signals back. So we'll be doing uh, a little bit of awareness for those kind of things and talk about how toxins and metals, heavy metals will damage the nerves and things like that. So lots to cover this month. Join me this month as we engage in conscious participation in uh, getting to know and promoting wellness in our nervous system. Happy Wellness, one day at a time.